My next stop on this tour of downtown Sandusky brings me to Shore House Tavern. Opened in 2015, they offer a wide variety of food and specialty cocktails. That's right up my alley. Let's go check it out. Just along Water Street here in Sandusky, we're at the Shore House Tavern with owner uh, Dawson Foster. Thanks for welcoming us in. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Tell me a little bit about Shore House Tavern. When did you guys get started? So, you know, one of the main things that we, we really focused on when we opened it was to be a little bit different um, than the other restaurants slash bars downtown. So uh, along with our chef, Mark, uh, who I'm sure you'll meet later, uh, we put together a little different menu. and. Uh, it's done really well. I mean, we've, allowed, we've allowed it without advertising, um, just our staff and the food itself to, um, to build what we've gotten today. It just speaks for itself, doesn't it? 100%. Just kind of took on, you know, um, more of a maritime, if you will, um, or waterfront theme, um, along with the name. Relatively new, is this whole area just sort of up and coming? Sandusky's really made some huge strides in the past, uh, you know, four or five years uh, and it continues to do so. We seem to hit uh, with this spot right kind of at the beginning mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know, it's consistently moved forward since. It's, you know, there's a lot of people that have, uh, that have spent money to, to make the downtown what it is and keep it, keep it moving forward, progressing. And That's what you do here. So we're gonna do a little bit of that. Uh, you mentioned Chef Mark, we're gonna meet him in the back. That's perfect. And he's got some surprises for us uh, as far as the menu goes. And We'll see what he's whipping up. Everybody's more than welcome. All right, let's try some food. We're back in the, the rather tight kitchen, I should say, with uh, Chef Mark Hobart. It is kind of cramped, but you guys are able to do a lot of good stuff back here, huh? Yeah, we do a lot in a small space back here. And you're gonna be making a lot for us today. I like that we got a, you got a wide variety here. You get some seafood. And... Yeah, we pull, uh, we pull a lot of flavors from kind of the Key West, Cuban area. Mm -hmm. um, when they opened this place, they said they wanted to be different. Take it away, Mark. What do All we right. got to do? So this is going to be our Cuban sandwich. We start with our mojo pork. This is a pork loin that we marinate for 24 to 48 hours in orange, lemon, lime, garlic, oregano, mm -hmm. a nice standard Cuban marinade. And then we slow roast it for about four hours. Slice it ourselves. A lot of work goes into that. It looks great. So we stack up a nice layer of that. We do a nice sliced ham, Swiss cheese, then sliced pickles. You gotta get those pickles on there. Absolutely. And then we top it with yellow mushroom. We close her up, and then onto the Cuban press for about 10 minutes till it's flat, crusty, and melted through. So while that's cooking, we can get some plantain fries together. Sounds good. So we just cut these down. I love me some plantains. I, I rarely see them in this form though, because I mean, when you order There's... them at a restaurant, they're already Correct. They look, they look a lot like a giant banana. Yeah, I'm on board. And these are plantain fries. Yes, we, so you're gonna we cut actually them up. do a fry cut to make them more relatable to everybody. And then off to the fryer they go once they're off. Off to the fryer they go. In fry form. Awesome. Mahi bites. Mahi bites. We cube off our mahi, season it up, salt, pepper. Coat it in a flour cornmeal with a little bit of Creole seasoning, mm. and then these get fried off and also served with our house remoulade sauce. Okay. So this is our play on a traditional New England lobster roll. All right, so lobster roll is coming back out of the oven. All ready that to go. Look at that delicious naan bread. Cheese melted nicely. Mm -hmm. We do a six piece cut on it, tap it. This is just a chopped spring mix that we use for all of our house salads. And this is our house lobster salad mix. And that's about that. I bet it tastes outstanding. I'm gonna try, I'm digging in. It's probably Absolutely. still a little hot, but that's what I want. There we go. Look at that. You said it, that hot bread with that pulled lobster, that is great. Mm -hmm. Alright, so mine, you guys are done. Nice golden brown on those. Again, they come out of the fryer. We're just gonna do a little toss of kosher salt on them. And then these into a basket. And again, served with our house remoulade sauce. Very versatile sauce, goes with a lot of different things. Look at that. 
this all for me, right? Yes. All right. Put it down. All right, I'm, I'm going to try it. Let's see how hot it is. So. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> really good, though. Mm -hmm. Well, only one last thing. That's our Cuban. So it's coming off the press. Our cheese is nice and melted. Our bread's nice and toasted. We'll just do a nice long bias cut on that. Mm -hmm. We'll plate that up with our plantain fries we just did. The different layers of goodness in there. A little bit of everything. That's a little great. bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Well, I may as well eat it. great as I imagined it would be. Good. Get a little pickle in there though. Well there we have it. All the delicious items you made us. And pretty quick too. Well thank you very much Chef Mark. Thank you. Awesome stuff here at the Shore House Tavern. This stuff always on the menu. Weekly specials too. Come check them out. Right, like, like you said, right before you get on the boat. Really good stuff. <laughs>